It's Cinemassacre's Monster Madness, godzilla -thon. Okay, wow. Godzilla's Revenge. This movie is the wet core of the smelly dog turd, and we're gonna take a bite right in. Oh, there's nothing more sad than a grown man all alone wallowing in his sorrows watching Godzilla's Revenge, let alone making a video about it. I don't even know how to explain this one. All I can say is that this is where the series really, really started to change direction. Destroy All Monsters was the big finale. It got all the monsters together in a royal rumble and killed the evil Ghidra. So that was really supposed to be the last movie. But instead, they decide to make more and gear them towards children. The plot involves a kid who's a fan of Godzilla. He gets beaten up by bullies and then he gets kidnapped by bad guys. I guess that's all you need to know. So he dreams that he's on Monster Island and becomes friends with Godzilla's son. How is this possible? Well, he can shrink down the human size whenever he wants. That's convenient. And he can talk, too. Godzilla says that I should learn to fight my own battles, you know. Together, they watch Godzilla fight other monsters, which is shameless stock footage from Son of Godzilla and Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. And I don't mean that they reuse some of the same shots here and there. They literally recycle the same scenes. If they would have included more, it could have been a best of Godzilla compilation. The only redeeming factor is a new monster called Gabra, which looks amazingly stupid. He spends most of the time beating the shit out of Godzilla's son, and his body's surging with electricity. He's like twice as tall, so it would be common sense for Minya to run away. He is called Minya, right? Well, Godzilla keeps forcing him to fight. He's concerned about being a coward instead of being concerned about getting his ass kicked. Eventually, Godzilla helps out and a giant battle's underway. But remember, this is all a dream, and it parallels with the boys' real-life battle with the kidnappers. So he escapes the kidnappers, and then he proves his newfound courage by beating up the bullies. And I don't know which fight is stranger, the monsters jumping around and flying through the air? Or this ridiculous LSD-induced strobing fight with the bullies? Some look at this movie with a light-hearted nature and say that it shows a struggle in a youth and that there's some moral lesson to stand up to things and be brave. Yeah, sure. I guess that means to stand up to people who are much bigger than you and to fight monsters that shoot electricity. I don't buy it. Overall, the final monster fight's pretty amusing, but this is undoubtedly the worst of all the Godzilla movies by far. Any way you look at it, it's absolutely awful. Godzilla's revenge. Who did he get revenge on? That's what I want to know.